basically cardiologist take a look at different patients hearts to evaluate them for any kind of cardiac disease dogs cats pretty much anything with four legs and a heart I guess if you have two legs it's like a kangaroo but <laughs> you know I mean whatever non non-human we go ahead and take care of and do ultrasounds of the heart, they call those echocardiograms. We assess the electrical function of the heart, they call that an electrocardiogram or ECG or EKG. Get a lot of questions, what's the difference between an EKG and an ECG? German spell cardio with a K, English spells it with a C, so it just depends on whether you want to be Farfik Nugent or you want to be American. Sir Walter! <laughs> What's up, big boy? We're trying to keep this rated G, Walter. You at least got a G string or something. <laughs> he grew a little hair in the past month. So oh, okay. On his sides, he's sporting a little bit here. Fair he's enough. Dirty. I'm a little embarrassed, but. Lolly um, meow. I like the. Well, this is actually not his. This is for his little sister. Oh, she's nice. coming this weekend, my newest. Oh, okay. Well, so you'll, thank you. So she's gonna be my first breeding. Oh dear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's neutered. Can you ready for all this? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big world right I there. I know. I know. Sir Walter, and he's two now. Is that right? Two. Yeah. He can He's all talk by the way. <laughs> he doesn't he angry at me. I hate to see you guys. Of course, we always our biggest concern is the size of this left atrium versus the aorta. They're almost the same size, those two okay. circles. That's gorgeous. And this breeder does a very, very good job with um, kind of the line and testing good. and echoes. And, good. Um, so we just got to remember that their prime time for developing HCM is between the ages of three and eight. Okay. So, you know, he's, he's still a little young for the yeah. real disease, but. I know. Uh, at first, made it. I'm a little rough at first, but then I'm okay, right? That's I'm it. surprised he let you hold him down like that, because like I said, he, he's all talk. Like, he doesn't know what growling is, he yeah. doesn't know any of that, but last time it was like, Dad, what are you talking about? I had a man, you know, maybe it's oh, a little no, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, you just gotta be like, you just gotta learn how to no. deal with the cats, that's all. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And you'll be able to see this as well. You know, you remember when you came in before. Good job. Good job. How's the whole appetite battle been for you? He's better, but not great. Um, but he's, I mean, he's just, he's just so weird in terms of. That's for triage. He's in the morning, he'll eat in the afternoon, you know, eat at night. And, and if he doesn't want something, and he's still just there, I mean, I have to hand feed him. Um, but if he doesn't want something, he'll just, he will just point his nose up to the ceiling. It's like, That's take it. it away. I mean, he's just, you know, no negotiation. And don't try to pull anything, like mix something he likes into something he doesn't like. That's not going to happen. That's like, an, he's like, he's like, like I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can Normal for a dog is 60 to 180. Okay. You know, when they're nervous and excited, and of course, you know, you saw yeah. the first second we were up in the 280s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's varying a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's atrial fibrillation, and that usually happens because this chamber gets too big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the two things, if you remember, he has this valve right here that's not normal, right, and right. then this valve right here. So mm -hmm. with this valve not being normal, so blood's supposed to go from here to here and out here. Right. So this valve not normal allows blood to come back this way. This valve not being normal allows blood to come back this way. So this chamber catches the heat. Okay. And that's what we're seeing a lot of here. And so the AFib is, is not uncommon given his condition. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's one of the things we're kind of looking out for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what do you do for that? We'd have to add in some more medications. Okay. I know that's not your favorite. No, but it's a good But it's what it sounds like.
mm -hmm. is basically equivalent to him running a marathon. Right, and as I say, it's, he's, I mean, because uh, yesterday mm -hmm. I kept checking his heart. Yes. And, you know, and I purposely, you know, put my hand over his yes. heart while I was talking to Dr. Germano. Yes. And it was totally different, but huh. was, it, was it racing? I mean, his heart is not normal. I mean, right. I have two other dogs and I can barely, like the, the one I barely, <laughs> barely right. detect like, Are you alive? Yeah. And he's three years old, he's very much alive, I can tell you. <laughs> That's the thing, he'll slow down at times. He slows down a little bit more, like this mm -hmm, rate's mm -hmm. not nearly as fast as it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But still not quite normal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, don't be mad at me. Okay. Yeah, don't be mad at me. Okay. 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 With him now, instead of pump, fill, fill, pump, fill, fill, where pump, 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 it's not giving good time to fill. Okay. So everything's backing up the atrium, and the atrium's getting too big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we can relax the rate down, we'll move more fluid okay. through, mm -hmm. and then you'll see all that get picked up. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's more the side effect yeah. than the problem. Because